What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia, Season 7, Episodes 5 and 6. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access. Come on over to the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us before we post it to Patreon. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's hop right to today's episodes. Let's do it. Right, starting where we left off, the coffin in the sky. Yeah, that's what I'm so curious about. What is that? How was he doing that? He doesn't have a quirk, theoretically. Uh-huh. He's taking the, the title hand guy a little too seriously. I like how she can get replenishments for her prosthetics at any point. Yeah, Shigaraki's getting out of hand is a good pun to say to put it. What? I'm multiplying infinitely? The milliseconds we turn off eraser, everything in here is eviscerated. I'm nervous as hell, but man, I, I hope we can do it, man. Now we, I do like how we have multiple separated fights in any anime where they have cut off fights and teams like this. I've always loved it. Buddy, this ain't Power Rangers. What are you doing? He can turn his body into fucking shrapnel. Moonfish. He's got a new fucking outfit. He looks deranged. This might actually be a real deal fight for Gang Orca. I've never seen him go full out. Toga. Great dodge. She, she's doing it out of love. There's no ill intent. That's a weird way to think about danger sense. Like, that's an interesting concept. Like, I wonder in Spider-Man, would his spider sense go off? I guess that seems more of a direct danger to him. Whereas that, I would assume that's what that is as well. But I think that's an interesting concept, how danger sense doesn't work if there's no ill intent in the attack of the person. Oga wants to love Deku with her knives. So it's, that's, that's interesting. I don't know. I like that. I don't know about that. Yeah. There's no malice or ill intent. Wow. This is his first time hearing that. I guess for us it's obvious, obviously, but he would have no idea. Is he half mad, half blushing, half embarrassed? What is he doing? Yeah, Toga's the type of girl in real life who you run away from. Share a crepe. <laughs> Shut up, Deku. <laughs> yeah, there are crazy girls where you're like, I can fix her. Toga is not one of them. What, a normal person? Sure. Like, yes, we're not getting it from her perspective, but yeah. And now she's on demon time. All those are rocket propelled injectors to start sucking out blood. Thank you, Sue. And Sue was there the first time uh, Uraraka fought Toga. Yeah, do not let her get that blood in her. They've had the most interactions, that's for sure. Go ahead. 
you gotta deal with Shigaraki, like you said. She has to deal with uh, we're, uh, Toga, like she said. It makes sense. I get it. Ganbaro. If I get our own little homemade propeller out of here. Deuces. Interesting. I'm curious. His third son and his sidekicks. His mouth looking like two face skin just his fake skin just dissolving. Okay, right back where we left off. I do love the icy hot. Ugh. That's so sad. His tear ducts burst into flames. Ooh, and that lit him on fire. That's horrible. Especially because he doesn't have a naturally heat-resistant body. He has more of his mom's body. So after getting 12th degree burns, he jumped in the water finally. All for one found him like that? I did not realize. And that's why they couldn't find his body in the forest. Are we going to get a full Dabby flashback? Oh, wow. Mr. Sunny. Is this like an actual orphanage or a group home? Or is this all a dream? Maybe he was put in a medically induced coma for that long till he healed. He does look significantly older. What in the Teletubbies am I watching? with regenerative tissue wow so when all for one says he has like 15 different plans he really does even if sugar rocky failed he had dabby he had probably more of this and you know like that's crazy He's in quite literally a world of his own. So when he came back naturally years later, that's crazy. Wow, what are the odds? Small world. with the flames of his resentment is crazy yeah toya is dead dabby is born now instead of uh other abuse he's abusing shoto and stuff like that you know yeah he's already moved on to shoto train yeah all the fake skin on him the regenerative skin all that tissue all that being burned away of a monomaniac that even the demon lord abandoned that's a crazy way to put it Bro, his design is so scary, but so good. An aimless half-baked doll. Dabby looks like a demon, like a literal demon. Ooh, I love the ice surrounding the, the building right there. Ooh. 
flash fire and upgrade with the ice? Created this move himself. I like the way he put that. To get where I want to be. For his story, for his character, for a lot of aspects, he does need to stop Dabby. I took the essence of flash fire and manifest my right and left sides at the same time with his heart at the center. Okay. What does that... How does that benefit you? He most certainly took that advice to heart. He's making it his own power for sure. Arigato. Still my favorite season of My Hero, season two. Phosphor. Icebound Crash. Cold Flames Pale Blade. Kind of a badass name. It's literally like a storm of cold. It's like blue flames, except not hot. <laughs> I always love this song when they play it. I love how he's melting the ground. Creating an opening for my mans, putting their bodies on the line. W teammates. My man is hitting the ice fire fist. Did he just go through Dabby's stomach? He hit him with a nice solid frozen punch. I don't think he went through his stomach. I was like, that'd been crazy. Great glacial. Is it a gear? One's on some Icelandic Nordic shit right there. Okay. Do your thing, Todoroki. Damn, I love how he froze so much of the city behind him. That was an ice punch. That was literally an ice fire fist. Half of the All Might statue is frozen. The other half is melted. Okay. Wowzers. Wowzers. These episodes were fantastic. Oof. I'm not gonna lie, I was obviously expecting the Dabby Todoroki fight, but I was not expecting it to be over already. Like, wow, that was great culmination because of the character development. Obviously, Dabby's had off camera, but it really does connect to a lot of things Endeavor's kind of done throughout the show. There's been little tidbits here and there, but I love how it culminates with Todoroki, uh, his character arc, and how his abuse from Endeavor to how he relates to his other siblings to how it connects with his mother and Deku to how like it literally has come full circle from everything to connect to this point right here and he's he's taking advantage of it he's making use of it shout out Deku I, I say shout out Deku obviously this is all Todoroki but theoretically Todoroki wouldn't be the man he is right now without Deku you know talk no jutsu in him but incredible fights the only one I'm nervous about is uh sue uaraka and toga i just toga just creeps me out in every every aspect um overall i'm loving it cannot wait to watch the next couple episodes remember check out that patreon for the full uncut versions uh check out the twitch if you guys want to watch these live lists beforehand i appreciate y'all don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day to squad peace out